Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to show you how to fight against tier 5 players against free to, like um, as a free-to-play player. As you already know, I have not spent a single dollar in this game. And somehow I'm managing to get a lot of merits, um, doesn't really matter against whom. There is like a couple of tricks that you need to understand to make your gameplay against stronger enemies even better. For example, zooming out is another way of uh, fighting properly against tier 5 players. Like generally it's really hard to understand who you are hitting but uh, whenever you're gonna zoom out at least you are seeing the icons and... You won't gonna click on uh, infantry, you won't gonna click on uh, something which gonna give you a huge amount of uh, damage back to you. So as a marksman main, for example, by myself, I always try to focus mages because that's the best amount of damage I can deal in these fights, right? And also, I think the most important in any kind of situations during the war is to try to not get targeted by the enemies and... Uh, it's always harder whenever you are using long-range warfare and you just want to uh, use your artifact because uh, mainly you are losing the uh, your uh, yeah like you are losing uh, your legions uh, control for a couple of seconds and it's getting out of hand sometimes right yeah as you can see I got targeted I moved back and now I can freely hit this guy who is just trying his best to like I don't know like backfire us right like in general uh, I, if you especially don't understand uh, who you who is tier 5 and who is not uh, by the names i by 100 percent prefer to fight like this because at least i can see what kind of uh, legion i'm hitting what's the type right so like as always main priority is all always about uh mages but this guy just popped up like this is the mechanic I don't like, popping up, like using your artifact and going inside, like one of the most horrible mechanics you can have in this game. Like, I don't know, like, I hope in the future it will be fixed in a much, much better way. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, uh, whenever you have a tier 5, tier 4 alliance, fighting against tier 5 players is not easy. Uh, like a lot of things are happening around the battlefield currently but still as you can see I try my best to not hit uh, any infantry but whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players it means that they have almost every single artifact to level 5 so it's getting harder and harder like to stay alive because if you even not get uh, hard targeted in these fights like simply the artifacts are dealing a lot of damage that's a fact right and unfortunately i'm having some lags which i prefer not to have at all but yeah look what we can do right i'm not sure why like simple mode was turned on but actually it's way better to just see what you are doing here yeah, like, that's generally how it happens against tier 5 players, when they are in a large group of people and they are hitting you together. It's almost impossible to stay alive, but your main job should be to try to be alive, because that's the only way you can deal damage during fights, to, to not die, like, as soon as possible, right? Because, like, in general, uh, whenever tier 5 player is targeting your legions, like I'm pretty sure it's almost impossible to stay alive. That's why try your best to not get targeted. Um, utilize the zoom out uh, feature in this game, which is like this, right? Like for example, right here I can understand like where is enemy, where is my uh, allies members. Uh, and like I know when to go in, when to go outside, right? If I will be just zooming in, it's quite hard to understand what to hit. Simply because like too much uh, stuff is going on, too much artifacts are being thrown and like generally that's not that easy uh, if you ask me, right? This infantry is low health and whenever like there is an infantry which is low health, you can hit it. 
I, I, I generally advise that if you see the full health infantry, like, don't try to hit it. Well, now you, like, nothing gonna happen, right? But if it's a low health, like this guy, which is, like, almost dead, then I, like, that's nothing. Like, you are not going to get a huge amount of uh, counter-attack damage out of hitting, like, almost dead tier 5 infantry, because, like... They, they do a lot of counter-attack damage whenever they have a high unit count among their legions. It would be so good if I was able to use my artifact in a better way here. Like, I always try my best to use artifacts in a couple of uh, legions, especially for Phoenix Eye, uh, because you are hitting four nearby legions if you will use it properly, so why not, right? Yeah, as you can see, whenever enemy is moving forward and you see that you don't have enough allies on towards your side, uh, it's always better to just move back and to wait your friendly allies in order to attack together. Like lonely warriors won't gonna work in this kind of in this kind of wars. Like you need to strategize. Like if I will just move up a little bit here, I will get targeted and I will be dying. Of course, in the end, we will be checking, uh, like, merits. Unfortunately, my other two legions died pretty fast, and they won't gonna have enough merits in this fight against tier 5 players, but still, in my opinion, as a free-to-play player, if you get, uh, like, at least uh, 10,000 merits against tier 5 players, that's already a big victory, uh, which is not that easy, right? Yeah, like, as you can see, my allies members are moving forward and they are dying one by one. That's the thing I would not recommend to do anybody whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players because, like, yeah, they will destroy you one by one and it will be impossible for you to deal some, do something here. I'm not sure why I'm getting so much lags in this fight. Like, yesterday at midnight, we had even bigger fight and I did not have so many lags. Uh, let's hope it will be fixed, but... Yeah, like as you can see, zooming out, I can see I have some group of people who I can uh, play with, right? Uh, like we are stacking here and we are trying to attack the enemy, right? That's the main idea of how you can fight generally against tier 5 players in this game. Like hide behind your allies members. Now my main aim will be to use Phoenix Eye in a perfect way at least once here. Yep, that should be the great, great use. Yep, we just hit couple of legions together, also some Tiano Tier of Arbon. Like Tier of Arbon is one of the best artifacts in order to stay alive. Like if your um, alliance members has like at least 10 uh, Tier of Arbons in the battlefield, you guys are going to stay alive for longer. That's a fact. Yep, like we are still alive. I understand the unit count is low currently and I'm dealing less and less damage, but we are pushing, it's much better to help the push um, rather than just go home, wait some time and wait until your legion will be back. So like I prefer to fight, like whenever the legions will be almost dead, that's the time whenever I'm checking my uh, merit score because that's the time whenever there is most interesting, right? That means you used everything what you had and like in the end you will be able to see how did you perform right now i'm getting targeted like my legion count is pretty low it does not really matter sometimes whenever you have low legion count it's even better to get targeted by yourself than your other uh, allies members right but yeah currently as a tier 4 alliance we are pushing them one by one uh, pretty fine honestly and, uh, it's been a pretty surprising for me how Tier 4 Alliance, like being a coordinated uh, group, how you guys you can do things in the battlefields. Uh, unfortunately, my Walder is gone. It's not that easy uh, to stay alive for a long period of time whenever you are fighting against Tier 5 players, but like I'm already happy. At least for like 10 minutes I have been fighting against these uh, enemies and my Syndrome is still alive. Which is amazing in my opinion, right? That's why, like, doesn't really matter if you are fighting against tier 5s or tier 4s. Uh, what actually matters is to be cautious, to understand where your legion is standing and what would be the better moment for you to uh, move forward maybe or move back. 
Right now, honestly, I prefer to just go home. Uh, like, my legion is almost gone and it's like, I deal almost nothing. This is almost nothing, right? So, I will be sending my Syndrion at home and I will be able to check how much merits we got out of this fight. Um, unfortunately, there was some lags. I hope it won't gonna happen again, but yeah, you, what you can do, right? This is the merit scores for my legions whenever I'm fighting against tier 5 players. Uh, of course, like this 3000 and 8000 is because I, I lost my legions pretty fast during this fight and uh, the Walder and the Syndrion was the longest alive uh, legions currently. Uh, unfortunately, my strongest legion is Nico and Ginara because I'm using all of my legendary tokens towards uh, Ginara. Uh, but yep, I'm pretty happy. Like as you can see, if you have not seen the last night's live stream, which like I have fought for like three hours, uh, that's that's it. Okay, I have been scouted for uh, many times. That's the merits I have been getting um, by fighting tier uh, five players. Like yesterday, yesterday's fight was amazing. Uh, I hope in the near future we're gonna continue to do it. Uh, let's try to send one more legion, uh, I guess, well, um, Sendrion is kinda low, so I will prefer to at least send these three legions, so, like, first fight was uh, for 10 minutes, and we already saw, saw the reports, now let's fight for second time, and let's see how much damage we are going to do in these fights against tier 5 players, like, I have been asked to make a videos against tier 5 players because like somebody told me that I'm only showing uh, fights against tier 4 so, like I don't understand what's the difference fight is fight uh, it's not like I'm fighting against tier 3 players right they are still the same power level players as me so I don't understand what's the point simply because of a lot of lags I just prefer to stand like zoom out and try to do damage like this that would be the best possible way, okay, like, the lags are pretty big, I, I don't understand from where these lags came from, like, I'm 100% I'm sure last night, like, we had way more legions on the battlefield, and we had way less lag, honestly, but it is what it is, okay, not move up, not move up, like, that's the main point of fighting against tier 5s, like, know your position, know what you can do, uh, like, whenever you get targeted, just move back, right? Like, you aren't gonna do much if you are getting targeted by tier 5 players here. I'm pretty sure I will get targeted, yeah, that's why I already started moving back. It's all about positioning whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players. Uh, like, honestly, try your best to stay alive, does not really matter if the enemy is tier 5 or tier 4. Um, that's the only way for you to get more merits whenever you are alive, right? And you are trying to fight. Even if you have low uh, unit count on your ma on your legions, it's still the better way to stay alive. Like I understand sometimes it's tempting to use your artifact in a most perfect way, but if your legion is going to die during these uh, moments, whenever you are trying to use your artifact, it's not really worth it, right? You are getting your full hospital, uh, you don't have unlimited resources to heal your troops, and like you are dealing some damage to the enemies with your artifact, which might not be even level 5, right? Our allies members just came with the cavalry units, uh, which is great, honestly. I think this uh, rally will break soon, and these guys will help us to move a little bit more uh, towards the enemy base. They are trying to destroy our tower in this in this case. Uh, like we have been pushing them all like whole night, like ten plus hours. I'm not sure if the, the people have even slept. Like they have been fighting. I I fought for four hours or three hours. I went to sleep, woke up, and fights are still going on. Right. That's that's why I love this game. Because people actually like to fight, because this game has the best combat gameplay I have ever seen in Kingdom Builder games. Yeah, we are getting targeted, that's why we're gonna move back, that's the rule of the game. And whenever you, you move back, you are taking the enemy's targets to yourself, and maybe they will overstep, maybe they will like chase to you, and 
your allies members will have a better chance of using the overchasing enemies actually all right like i'm not sure why i'm having these lags i hope it's just only for me uh, it should not be happening right but yeah i guess that's totally fine i can just zoom out and see who i'm uh, hitting and also the big plus about zooming out is that i can actually see what my alliance members are targeting and you can just honestly focus on the same targets that's a great thing to have and yeah like i can see every single legion which is nearby right now if i will be able to use my artifacts on these uh, builders that will be amazing let's just move up a little bit because i will want to use my shadow blades here Okay, let's wait. Yep, I guess that's the most perfect way of using the artifacts here, right? Let's move a little bit back because somebody was trying to target my legion, and I guess, yeah, just move back, just lose the target, and try to get as much merits as possible out of these fights. Like, that's the best way of playing this game in general right whenever you have a lot of amount of merits on your account it means that you are active player it means you are playing the game yeah like it was really worth it even though we had a lot of lags uh, currently in these fights i think like only this moment is worth it to see what's going on on my kingdom currently like it's pretty hard for me to just click on anybody right now but yeah as you can see we are doing pretty fine here my legions are alive i'm hiding behind my alliance members and we are dealing damage right what else i can do unfortunately it would be much much better if i had no lag in this fight but it is what it is right i can't be happy about everything what i can do simply is just to not get targeted and use my range from from the long range warfare uh, right now i will just move back because like randomly i got hit i got targeted by somebody so i'm not sure who is trying to target my legion yeah like that's nothing i guess i'm trying to yeah like i guess here i can see what's going on but still there is some lags like after the video like i will find out what's the problem maybe actually it's my fault that i'm having lags here but yeah it's not a problem this cavalry is hiding here like pretty smart nice i'm pretty sure i'm going to have like at least 10,000 merits out of every single legion from here which is always great now it will be better if I if I'm going to use my artifact here. Let's move closer so I will be able to use my shadow blades here. Yeah, both artifacts have been used, and unfortunately I'm getting targeted. But I can simply move back if my legions will understand what i'm trying to say to them so yeah whenever you are having some lag problems just zoom out and it will be more helpful for you to uh, deal damage and to understand what's going on in this kind of fights uh, like it's almost impossible to see who is who and what what they are doing and what kind of legion you are clicking whenever there is a lot of amount of uh, artifacts being used so I kind of understand why people sometimes choose to play with the zoom out mode, right? Like you you want to perform well, right? You are preparing preparing all the time for these moments to showcase to your alliance members, to your enemies how strong you are, and uh, like uh, sometimes the stupid mistakes such as using artifact whenever you just want need to go back, or maybe simply because of the legs you you don't understand who you can hit and who you don't yeah i can already see how much damage i'm doing and the damage is pretty fine right i think i'm just moving too far right now let's just move back 
be obvious, like my lot of allies are hitting this guy, so why not just try to defeat uh, this infantry as fast as possible. And now it's time to just clear up what's left. Like I, I can see a couple of uh, tier 5 names, but whenever there is group, they are grouped, it's quite hard to understand who is tier 5 and who is not. So... Yeah, sometimes my legions don't believe my actions, they don't follow me up. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna charge my artifacts with this um, infantry player and I will be using on the enemy. Which is great, right? Let's just charge it, let's charge it, charge it. Yeah, I guess great use of my... Yeah, like, I thought I used my shadow blades, but unfortunately I could not. The flag is getting out of hand. I would have preferred to not have this lag to showcase in a better way how fun it is to uh, fight against even tier 5 players, but it is what it is. I'm still having the best time. Alright, yep, like as I said, free to play player fighting against tier 5s. Um, I'm alive for a long period of time, which means I'm getting married, right? Does not really matter how strong or how weak you are. If you will just simply die, that's all, right? That, like that's that's the way that you are not getting married. So again, great use for Phoenix Eye here. Let's zoom out, so I will be able to click. Yep. Pretty happy about the results which I'm having in these fights against tier 5 players. So soon we are going to check the merit score and you guys will understand what I have been saying. That even for tier 5, tier 4 players you are going to have fun in this game. Does not really matter if you have spent anything in this game or not. Uh, in general I think more than 10,000 merits against tier 5 players is a good result. Uh, for a free to play player but soon we are going to check it by ourselves and see uh, if I was able to get those 10,000 merits per legion uh, unfortunately right now I have only two legions left uh, which is like totally fine I have been fighting almost one day honestly I had to use my resources in order to continue fighting uh, that's why like anything which I can get out of these fights is like great thing right I did not expect that I would use my artifact, my shadow blades here, but yeah, I did, so it's great. Yeah, we cut their way to uh, like come to this battlefield. Right now, like, let's see Craig die because the unit count is really low and it's time for me to see the merit score of my legions. So let's check the second. Uh, report which i have in this fight well there we go guys i'm fighting against tier 5 players what do you think everything yellow more like 20,000 merits for three legions which i have used in this past uh, fight like i don't know like that's what i have been saying even if you are tier 4 player even if you are a zero dollar spender like me if you understand the basic mechanics of this game uh, in general during wars, you are 100% going to get merits in this game. Like, honestly, like, I, I showed you in a perfect way, like before last videos about getting merits, uh, it was about same power level players like me, uh, like tier 4s, but right now I'm fighting against tier 5s, right? Like, nobody can say anything. Uh, Shepherdson in the back has like a lot of tier 5 players. Um, Aga did not help us to push right now, like maybe a couple of cavalry units and some infantry, but not that much. They are busy towards their side, destroying towers, and we were like one versus one against tier 5 players. My whole alliance has only one tier 5 player that we need to mention, uh, and it means that simply if you understand the basics of the game, you will get merits in this game, right? Let's see how much merits I have, like 3.7 million for zero spender player. I'm really, really happy and I'm enjoying this game really, really much. 
that's all I wanted to showcase. Unfortunately, there was some lags, but I hope you guys understood the whole concept of fighting against tier 5 players. And of course, I will try to make more and more amazing content for this amazing game in the future. Thanks for watching. I hope you like my videos. If you do, press like, subscribe, uh, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more amazing content for this game. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.